All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have the Delta Hydra project here on the channel. And guys, I gotta tell you, this is the biggest beast I've ever had on the channel, ever looked at. I mean, it is a huge chunk of steel. Uh, I wanna thank Ivan over Three Hand Media for sending this watch out to me to take a look at. So let's get it up here a little bit closer to the camera and talk about it. So the monster in the room, like truly, this is the monster in the room, guys. This is a 50 millimeter case from side to side. You can't say without measuring the crown because you got crown guards here that come all the way out almost to the edge of the case. So really it's 50, uh, 50 millimeters, excuse me, side to side. Plus you have this portion here, which we'll talk a little bit more about here in a second. So it's a beast of a watch, even more so coming in at what I measured as close to 20 millimeters of thickness from the bottom of that huge bulbous case back to the top of this uh, semi-domed sapphire crystal here on the watch. So huge, huge. And really the small is the 51 lug to lug. You'd expect the watch to be a lot bigger than that lug to lug, but it's 50, right about 51 lug to lug and you got 50 side to side. So it sits on the rest kind of evenly, but it's a beast, guys. I can't even tell you how much this weighs. I should have checked that out, but it's gotta be a pound and a half of meat metal here. So. All right, guys, the Delta Hydra project. This is a 2,000 meter dive watch, guys. Really interesting piece here. Um, obviously hearkening a lot back to the 1970s divers, especially the Omega Ploprof watch. You know, uh, that one actually had a guarded um, crown on it. It had the, the piece came out over the crown on it. And uh, on the uh, Omega Proplof, this was actually a pusher to lock the bezel in place. Whereas on the Delta Hydra project, this is actually the helium escape valve here on the side of the watch. So you do not have the locking crown functionality of that original um, Ploprof diver, even though you get the cool looks. You do have a nice 120 click bezel on this watch that locks in really nicely. Big, solid, easy to grip bezel on the watch. Uh, go ahead and show you the grip to it. It's shiny, but there's enough uh, meat here on this watch. Literally, the watch is so big that it's really easy to get a hold of and manipulate. No problem whatsoever. Big, beefy bracelet, as you would expect on this watch. And it looks like I didn't check if they're screw pins or push pins. I'm going to think they're push pins on the watch. Yeah, they appear to be split pins on the watch. But very um, beefy bracelet on the watch also. Bring it up here a little bit closer so you guys can check out the dial a little bit better. Again, like I said, pulling from 1970s style dive watches. You can see that uh, sword style hand in bright orange there for the minutes. The nice broad uh, sword hand also for the hours. The minute, the second hand there reaching all the way out to the track, touching the tips of the minute tracks, so that's really nice. The Delta up there done in a chrome applied logo there at the top with the Hydra underneath. Then your automatic, your 2,000 meters of water resistance. Pretty crazy, actually. So the indices are thin, but they are applied on the watch. Look really, really nice. So guys, quite an impressive piece. Like I said, if you're into really, really big, beefy watches that really stand out on the wrist, this is going to be one of them. I mean, this thing is just really, really big here. Uh, quite a piece of meat. Go ahead and show you the buckle assembly, the clasp assembly on the watch. Pretty standard. Um, actually, pretty pretty lightweight for a big watch like this. You still have the pressed um, you know, bars and whatnot. Kind of wish to see machine stuff in there. Taking a look at the case back. Now, these are supposed to be limited editions. Now, I don't know if they're going to number them or not, but you can see the Hydro Project there on the back with the XB... A43 water resistance of 2,000 or 200 atmospheres, which is huge. And this is running the NH35 movement. So a uh, good 24 joule movement. Nothing special going on there with the movement, but it is a good movement. You know, you get 40 hours of power reserve at that beating at 21,000 vibrations per hour. So, all right, let's pause it for a second and get this beefy beast on my seven inch wrist and uh, we'll go out that loom shot as usual. Okay, so yeah, you're going to get some wrist presence with this watch. Surprisingly, because it's only 51 lug to lug, it actually sits kind of right in the center of my wrist. You know, it's a heavy, heavy watch. I got to tell you guys, on my wrist, you can really feel it, especially with that big bulbous case back. But if you're into wearing big watches and things that really stand out on your wrist, this is going to be a good one. The Plo Profs are like, I don't know, they're like eight or $9,000 these days for a used one, I think, or even the newer ones. I'm not quite sure on the prices, but they're an expensive watch. These are going for, I think, $380 at the website, which is just about right for what you're getting, you know, on the watch. Uh, quite a beefy piece. I just want to show you guys a size comparison. Uh, this is the uh, 16600 Sea Dweller uh, 4,000 foot, you know, or 1,220 meter watch next to the Delta Hydra Project, which is a 2,000 meter watch. Uh, 40 millimeters here with the helium escape valve and stuff. You've got 50 millimeters uh 
I mean, it's just a huge, huge wash. Look at the comparison between a 40 and a 50. 10 millimeters really makes a big difference, guys. So, all right, let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the loom on this one. Well, I'm not too surprised by that. Dim the lights and we're already getting a nice glow out of the Delta Hydra project wash. I mean, being a, being a dive wash like this, a big beefy dive wash, you would expect that they would loom it up pretty good. And they've definitely done that. So pretty, pretty cool watch. I do believe this is going to go over to Marshall Time. So guys, check out his channel. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel and also to Three Hand Media down below where you can check out more watch videos. So thanks, Ivan, for sending this one out to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.